Welcome back to watching Super Meat Boy die over and over again. To, <laughs> that is uh, this game. <laughs> to Chad, um, played by Super Meat Boy, being played by Joe, and it's Super Meat Boy Live. Um, so, <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm again. gonna try to I'm gonna try to beat Chad up in all this glorious variedyness. Uh, while I'm focusing on doing that and unable to talk, uh, I've got a uh, question. Your top three bosses. What are your What are your top th Ooh. top three of all time? Video oh. games, uh, D and D, what else? What? Mm, man. So D and D, I have trouble because the boss concept is something like it's a I, bigger, right? Yeah, I try to avoid it, and um, and it becomes like who's your best villain to right. answer that question. Sure. And then that opens up a whole can. I think of worms. villain is a different yeah. So yeah. Both bosses strictly. So strictly bosses. Um, man, I honestly think that might be too hard to put me on the spot. Whoa. I, I'm serious, man. Like. You got three tries. Three tries. <laughs> I said I liked when the pressure's on you. Um, okay. Uh, let's try to think this through. So the bosses I hate, I can eliminate very quickly because it's the stun them, and then hit them, and then stun them, <laughs> and then hit them, and then guess what happens in the third time? He dies. Uh, <laughs> I can't stand that video games continue. Now, I think in Zelda it has a... a a Sorry, predisposed perfection. place, yeah, and but but they're also trying to get past a lot of the old tropes yeah. of Zelda too. But in Zelda, you kind of know what you're getting, so it's okay there. In Batman: um, Arkham Asylum, it's completely inappropriate. Like Joker at the end. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Uh, um, taking the the what did they call it? It wasn't Venom. It's the the higher end version of what Bane gets, a concentrated version of Bane's super juice, which is Venom normally. Uh, I think they called it Titan or something like that, but I'm really not sure. Yeah, I think actually that is John Tron's least favorite boss. It's the worst. It because he just it, you take Joker, the, the, one of the most classic ones. Exactly, this perfect sociopath who is incredibly entertaining and enjoyable. And you turn him into a brute ape who punches you really hard, and that's his best thing he can bring to the fight. And if you can convince him, if you can trick him into running into a wall and then you stun him, uh, then you can kill him. Like, that's. That's so dumb. And what they could have done to make that fight work have Joker take the same superhuman strength serum, but then when he charges after you and gets stunned once, he doesn't fall for that again. He's still Joker, he's still smart enough to change up his tactics and make it a different fight. If they had done three different ways of beating him, I would have felt like I was Batman. Yeah. Because I had to figure it out as I went. Do you want to hear my version of how this would go? Yeah, please. Alright, so you set up this Super Venom as being... No, no subjects work with it. They make some Super Villains for time, but then they die, right? Yeah. And so it's it's something that's going to kill whoever uses it. It makes a super monstrous technique for whatever appropriate period of time. Mm -hmm. So at the end fight, Joker injects Batman with Yes. It. I would love it. And, and he wants to die. He wants Batman to kill him. Yes. That that would be such a beautiful thing. Um, I think it, it does a few hard things because it, it like, how do you win then? You, you have to survive, you have to get the antidote, something like that. Yeah, you have to puzzle um, your way out without killing Joker. But how do you, like... Like, maybe if you get too close to him, it ought, the game kind of takes over because you're raging. And, and you auto-swing or something. This, it does also go into the same territory of Joker, actually, which is, does this betray playing Batman? Um, I, but I think, ultimately, the thing that makes it so interesting... It, uh, well, not, I think it doesn't betray it if you're trying to actively cure yourself or some other yeah, solution. Bruce Wayne holding on kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I, I love end fights and boss fights that change up the way you've been playing the game. You have to learn some new mechanics, but they feel natural enough. Oh, yeah. This guy's brutal. Um, um, but I don't like when they're... I, I, I do like that, for sure. I don't like when they're a complete game changer. Like, I still want to learn... I, I still want to use what I've learned. So, I haven't answered your question at all. Yeah, but, <laughs> because but that's, that's while I can I can eliminate yeah, the, the bads... It's really hard to think of that perfect example of one that I've really liked. Um, I would say some of the bosses that... 
Man, I can't even think of like a good one that stands out, to be honest. What about the Star Fox series? Yeah. I, Fighting Andross on Venom? Oh, man. Those are cool, for sure. But is that really a best? Mm. Like, because it's still just shoot this thing a lot, right? Sure. And all, like, that Star Fox did it, so Star Fox 64 did it in 3D in a super pretty way for the time. I mean, it's very high, but very low polygon now, so now it would look a little rough, but at the time, I think it was gorgeous. Um, but you're still doing what the games that Star Fox kind of is based on did, like Gradius and those, is shoot this weak spot until it breaks, shoot that weak spot until it breaks. Okay, sure. You're not really changing up the dynamic of the game. And so I, I'm saying not... That... Let me say that I'm not criticizing Star Fox 64. I spent so many hours on that game, and I think it is pretty much a perfect product. The reason I like Star Fox 64 is not the boss fight, though. The reason I like Star Fox 64 is the level progression. That's definitely, yeah. Being and the, able to make paths. choices and having your failures matter oh, in the yeah. game, because if you don't succeed in a certain amount of time on certain levels, or whatever the case is, it puts you on a different path. So you can replay that game so many times and get a different experience. That was one of the earliest examples of character choice for me in a video game. Okay. Um, or, or, sorry, character consequence in a video game. Because by that point in my life, I was really still just playing console games. Like, I was just starting to get heavy into PC games, I would say, actually. So not, not only. Um, but console RPGs were nothing like what I was going to then experience in PC RPGs with Consequence. Um, and now PC RPGs, I feel like, have abandoned Consequence. But, uh, but that was a console game that nailed it. So, anyhow. Way off topic, though. I'm not answering your question, I think, by the end of this <laughs> episode. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Failure. What are yours? Because then I'll, uh, okay. I'll go, oh, yeah, that one's mine, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that's hard, though. That is hard. Uh, because one of them is definitely from Shadow of the Colossus. Um, but I'm sure you've seen him. The guy with the big sword that you have to climb up. Uh -huh. like, that was just a huge whoa moment. Yeah. Um, but, um, all right, let's see. Um, i trying to think of... You still haven't played Darksiders, which, with your love of Zelda games... Yeah. <laughs> might be a fun one to play on the show, okay. actually, at some point. I have both of them. Um, they have some cool boss fights. Darksiders 2 did a lot of things I didn't like to the game series. It basically tried to depart from Zelda a little bit and be yeah. a little bit more like Soul Reaver, which is oh, not, man, yeah. not a bad thing, since both of those games are very zelda -y anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, since that game is very zelda -y anyway. Um, but it also borrowed boss fights from other games, and there is a Shadow of the Colossus boss fight in... Darksiders 2. Um, so that's a game where the things you have learned as your character all apply in every boss fight, but each boss fight feels very unique. Right. So I think that is, it, it's the game itself is an example, not of an individual boss fight that was important to me, but of many boss fights that felt really big. And having never played Shadows of the Colossus, playing a Shadows of the Colossus style boss fight was also really fun. Yeah. I don't think they pulled it off to the same effect as Shadows of the Colossus, yeah. but it was still cool. Um, another one, I guess, from a game you don't know is probably Demon Souls. Um, it was kind of the same feel of uh, Shadow of the Colossus, just this huge boss that you run up on. Mm -hmm. But the thing that happened before it, right? Mm -hmm. um, so the thing that happened before it is that you you beat the first boss, you immediately go to the next area, and the thing that you're facing is a dragon that breathes fire on a bridge and immediately kills you if you get hit. So you're like, well, how do I possibly cross this? When you finally figure out how to cross it, um, you open the door and there's a boss fight immediately. And it's this huge guy with a tower shield and a giant spear and uh, he <laughs> he's just like, I just went through this ridiculously challenging area and now I have to run this boss fight. And so basically it's just the, uh, the, the, the stress that doesn't let up of those boss fights is so intense. Oh no, oh no. How are you not raging so hard right now? Um, in this boss fight. I don't know, it's really it's really entertaining. I feel like the thing that I'm, I'm losing by being in a discussion is that I'm having a hard time catching on to the... Yeah, I was going to ask, actually, do you want to try to do a silent run here at the end of the episode? Uh, oh, 
just you get super focused. All right, let's do let's do let's do one here. All right, everybody. Just... Dude, oh. Shut the fuck up, internet. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna try to like ease people into it and say hold your breath, but dude, shut the fuck up is good too. All right, here we go. Sound run starts now. Oh, okay. No, oh, I mean, but I'm not. I'm not ready. I forgot how to get up this part. Oh, okay. Well, was, I wasn't being silent. That was either. not so silent to run. <laughs> All right. Um, whatever. This is a this is a commentary channel. We're gonna talk. I'm gonna win by talking. I'm talking the words of victory, and it's gonna fit. It's vic. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Hey, maybe I just channel my inner Renom. Hey! Oh. Oh, that was saucy. <laughs> I, oh. uh, I mean, uh, there's definitely some frustration I can let out at this point. Oh. I'm, I'm wanting to hear it. I'm letting um, it. I'm just letting you stew. <laughs> That's a well marinated frustration. Yeah. Uh, Keep uh, going, please. Right. Well, I, it's, it's. The thing is, I'm not quite as broken as I was with Ob because I'm just not tired. I'm actually. Like, I could. I could play this all night long. That that was a major problem for us with Ibn Ab too. And part of it, I'm guessing just because you love this game so much, that you're not exhausted and you didn't love Ibn Ab. But also, we had not had enough sleep by the time we got Ibn Ab. There's just been so much to deal with, with getting the show ready and getting uh, your move here ready yeah. and work and everything else. Like, you finding a new job and, and everything. Like, it's... Oh. Nice, gonna man. Slow crawl to victory. Oh, nice. Yeah. I didn't think that was going to be the end. Oh, Chud! <laughs> oh, Chud come! Chud son! Oh. Senpai! He looks like he's really shocked that he did this to oh. the poor creature. Oh. Oh. oh! oh, it's a happy ending. Oh, man. This is a wonderful. Oh, that bastard fetus! Oh? Oh, you know What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! Oh no! That's so sad. He was so happy. Oh, Meat Boy, James Randolfo. James Randolfo, I am disappointed in you. <laughs> oh no, it's still popped. Uh, oh. That's what the bandages are for. Oh, wow. Man. Well, that was something else. That's that. <laughs> yeah. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Please keep up with the comments and everything else, and and uh, just you know. Meet scribe.